Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are going to be filming some of my favorite videos to do here on YouTube, my trash talk. Now, I have a bin full of Scentsy, full of vendor wax, and to my left here, I have a ton of candles. So I really want to sit down, share with you guys what I've been melting, what I've been burning, and I definitely have some thoughts on quite a bit of these. So without further ado, let's get into it. I was watching my friend Katie here on YouTube. Katie's Joyful Life, I believe, is her name on YouTube. And she was saying these are her favorite type of videos to watch. And I agree because... For example, let's just take this candle here. I review it, I talk about it on cold, but I wanna know, even some reviewers that burn like halfway through, I don't really do that just because I don't really have time to do that. And I just have so much else going on, but you don't know if the status of the candle has changed from halfway or not. So it's really cool to see I completely used up the product. What did I think about it? And would I repurchase it? So I agree, Katie. I love these kind of videos. They are super informative. Hauls, don't get me wrong, are so fun watching people open up boxes, seeing their first impressions. I love reviews, seeing how it smells on warm, on cold. But then that after burn or melt review are some of my favorites. So I have a bin of empties and we're actually going to do things a little bit different. I know a lot of you are here only for the Scentsy. So if you are here for Scentsy, I'm gonna do Scentsy first. Then I'm gonna get into candles and then I'll do vendor wax at the end because I know not as many people are interested in the vendor wax side of things. So let's get started with the Scentsy, shall we? I got through so much Scentsy this month and it makes me so happy. Now I do have some interesting choices for bars in here and mainly because in my spreadsheet I went through and any ones that I either did not have a date for because they're older before I started a spreadsheet or I was looking through and if they were like starting to get discolored and oily I clicked the name on my spreadsheet and I turned them red so that way I could be alerted I need to melt those quicker and I had a lot of cold days this couple weeks so I'm like I know it's not really appropriate to melt. I'm a very seasonal melter and burner, you guys. So to melt and burn these really through my nose, through a ringer, that's for sure. But I wanted to get through them during the more cold days. So the first, I have two bars of Scentsy's Pumpkin Tiramisu. I finished two of these. I really like this scent. It's sweet, creamy pumpkin. No coffee, really. Just like a really creamy, sweet caramel tiramisu scent. I don't really get, like I said, I don't get coffee, but I get like the ladyfinger cookies and the cream with the pumpkin. It's a yummy one. It's a really, really good bakery pumpkin. So I did enjoy that. Oh, I finished Palo Santo from the Bring Back My Bar. I do not like this, you guys. It smells like pepper. It just does not smell like Palo Santo since he definitely missed the mark on this one. I melted a whole clam in my bedroom and it was just, no, it was just not it for me. Ooh, I did Desert Tropics in my kitchen. I did four cubes one time and four cubes in the other because this was getting real sweaty. And I do not like this. It has a very weird, like, sharpness to it that almost smells like a sour candy, and I'm not a fan. Meanwhile, I love Jumpin' Jelly Bean. I don't have any more. That was such a great scent that came out for Easter a couple years ago. And I prefer Jumpin' Jelly Bean if I want like a sweet tart fruity. This just had a little bit of an off note, at least for me. Next, from the Bring Back My Bar, and these are from older Bring Back My Bars, not the most recent one, we have Summer Rain. And like, you can even see, like the clam was starting to get oily. This, I could barely smell. It's crazy, because it was really strong in the clam, and it was still strong. And I like it, it's a pre-aquatic, sweet, slightly floral water fragrance. I really liked it, but it was not really strong. And I did that in, my bedroom and actually going right now in my living room, dining room and kitchen, three bars. I wanted it to be super strong 
and filling and it is my beloved sweet plum pastry. I do not have this in my club. It was when my club got out of hand and I canceled it. I thought I only I thought I had an extra skip, but I did not and it was a tragedy. But I love this. I love sweet plum pastry. Next time it goes in and bring back my bar, I am adding it to my club and never taking it out. It makes me so, so sad that Sweet Plum Pastry is gone. This should be a permanent scent in the catalog. It is so delicious, so rich, creamy, plum, a little bit of sweetness. It is so good. Next, I did the scent of the month for January, Pineapple Rose. I have the Bring Back My, or I have the scent of the month kit, so I have a bunch of these bars. I love this. This is such a sweet rose. And the pineapple isn't super, super overpowering. It's definitely heavier on the rose than the pineapple, but it's beautiful and I love rose scents. And this was also super, super strong. I really like it. I don't know if it's gonna go in my club or not, but I did enjoy that one. I finished my one lonely last bar of pumpkin marshmallow, my favorite pumpkin scent from Scentsy, sweet, fresh, like you cut open a pumpkin and stuck the, like reached in and got the guts and then toasted some marshmallows on top. Fabulous, amazing performer. I love pumpkin marshmallow. I will always, always, always repurchase that if it ever comes back. I know I did two of these. Yep, nope, did I not do two of these? Oh, okay. I have one pumpkin chai. This is pretty. It's definitely a spiced chai tea scent, for sure. You get that really, really heavy chai spice with that like cinnamon and nutmeg from the pumpkin. It's really nice, really strong, and lasted a couple days. I did two pumpkin cinnamon swirl. I know guys with the pumpkin bars, but again, they were getting older and I just wanted to get rid of them. This is nice, sweet, cinnamony, sugary pumpkin. Does not smell like the Path of Moderate Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin though, but it's really nice. I really enjoy this. I will repurchase that every fall. It is yummy. This one, Cotton Candy Cookie. It is a favorite for a lot of people. And I will say, three days in my bedroom, I noticed it pretty much equally. Like it wasn't super strong in the beginning and faded. It pretty much floated the same way in my bedroom and I have four warmers in my bedroom and I do two cubes in each to finish a whole bar. I know that might sound excessive, but I love a strong scent. I want it to knock me out like when I'm in the room and this constantly in and out for three days, I could smell it, but it's not necessarily a scent that I want to keep smelling, if that makes any sense. It's like a sweet cookie, but yeah, I don't know. Cotton candy just doesn't do it for me, so it's not in my club, and I don't think I would add it to my club. This scent, Mulberry Bush. Oh my gosh. This scent, totally throwback to Party Light, the Mulberry scent. It is still around, but I remember my first time I ever ordered from Party Light was from a friend, and I got like a warmer and a bunch of the wax melts, and I did a Mulberry wax melt, and I just loved the scent of mulberry. And this just was such a happy scent for me. If I could go back in time, I definitely would add this to my club. It totally is that sweet, a little bit warm, almost jam-like berry scent. This is so yummy. I really, really, really like this. Mm, definitely would repurchase. And it lasted a few days. I really like mulberry bush. Oh. Autumn Road Trip, another one that is always super, super strong. It smells like autumn from Bath and Body Works. So like fig, apple, and a little bit of pumpkin. So strong. Like I said, if you like sweater weather from Bath and Body Works, it's very much, or not sweater weather, autumn from Bath and Body Works. It's pretty much the same. And it's so strong, powerful. I did add this to my club. I love. And then I did three bars of... Very controversial scent. Buzzworthy. I love Buzzworthy. These I actually got like on Facebook Marketplace and they stained the living S-H-I-T 
out of my warmers. I had to use, I use the Dawn Power Wash and I spray the dish and let it sit for a couple minutes and then I rinse it off. And even then I needed to use my scrub daddy with some dish soap to really get the dishes clean. So I do have like 30 bars of this under my bed. It's a really cold, dark area and I love it, but it's so strong and you have to like honey and really thick, rich honey scents to like this, which I do. But I will say it stains the warmers so much. So I have to be ready to deep clean my warmers after I melt that scent. I only have one brick and this one is in sugar cookie. It was very disappointing. I have heard a lot of people say that the bricks they don't think are as strong as the bars. I don't know. I also feel that way. So I definitely feel like it is. Yeah, I love this in a sugar cookie. It's nice. I did this in here, my living room one day, and I cut each cube in half. And it's still, it was very, very light, which makes me sad. I do have caramel chestnut in a brick, which I finished. And I did have baked apple pie in a brick that I finished. I have so many bricks. But my Luna brick was incredible. Out of this world, lasted for days and days and days. I'm not really sure with consistency-wise why it's so inconsistent. I do know that these are hand poured, so maybe that's why. I'm not really sure, but I would not repurchase baked apple pie or sugar cookie in a brick. I do like them in bars, so I'm not sure. I am gonna start with my, I have Sunkiss Citrus and Squeeze the Day that I've been using because the weather's starting to get a little nicer and I've been deep cleaning my apartment before vacation. So I wanted to like freshen it up in here. So I've been working through my bricks of those. And then I think I might start my Maraschino Sugar Cookie Brick. I did add a bar of that into my club, which I only have a quarterly club and it ships in May. So I have time to edit it. So I definitely want to break into my Maraschino Sugar Cookie Brick before that processes. Even if I don't have great performance from the Maraschino Sugar Cookie Brick, I'm still gonna wait for my bars to process and try it in a bar because I do believe that the quality is different in the bars versus the bricks. So that was my Scentsy. If you were only here for Scentsy, thank you guys so much. Let's start with the candles. The first candle I have is from my friend Melissa who owns 1820 House Candles. I finished this in Blackberry Arugula. It's a single wick. I did it in my bathroom. Everybody, my friend Melissa, who owns 1820 House Candles, I've talked about her many times on my channel, not sponsored, I paid for them myself. She is in East Palestine, Ohio, which was part of that horrific train derailment. So if you could support her, I'll leave her link down below. She definitely could use the help in, you know, shopping locally and buying her candles. Her candles are phenomenal. I'm burning her roasted coffee bean in the kitchen now and it's fabulous. And this blackberry arugula, arugula, she recently reformulated it to have more blackberry in it, and it's perfect. Her candles burn all the way down every single time. It's a plant-based wax. I love her product. I love her family. So if you could please show some support to her, I will leave her link down below. Again, not sponsored. I don't get any credit for it, but definitely if you support me and my channel and you want to support her her family and her farm are going through a lot of troubling times right now with the train derailment all right let's just get this sucker out of the way i got suckered into buying from this brand of candles and i hated every second of this candle and the customer service to try to get a replacement was a joke. And then Melanie here on YouTube, Mr. Kong's mom placed an order and I was like, oh no. And she's having the same experience I am. Not customer service wise, but product wise, glass house candles. Okay, I purchased this candle. I was so excited. It is in movie night. Chocolate popcorn and chocolate tops. Now you might see, this is completely cleaned out and empty. I love the vessel. I love this iridescent. I actually ordered the bubbled iridescent warmer from Scentsy that's on its way. And I wanna like display this with something in it next to it. I don't know, maybe like, I don't know what I wanna do with it, but I wanna put this like with the display, polish it up maybe, I don't know. But 
The scent is beautiful. It's the best chocolate waffle cone I've ever had in my life. It's like when you walk into a high-end ice cream shop and they're making homemade waffle cones and it's dipped in the best chocolate. It smells so good on cold. When I lit this, for one, just like Melanie, the wicks were horrible. It kept going out, inconsistency. I tried to trim the wicks, it didn't work. I foiled it, it didn't work. It was like the wicks are so frail and fragile that it just like disintegrates. It was a nightmare. I ended up putting it in the crock. But when you lit it, I was like, it smells like burning tires or like burning like flesh. It had such a horrible smell. And I was like, is that that movie night candle? Because it smells so good on cold. It sure was. And I blew it out and I was like, let me try it in a different room. I lit it in my living room a couple days later. Same thing. I was like, this is terrible. So I sent them an email. Uh, and of course, like I included in the email, like I know how to burn candles. I've been doing it for a while now. Trim the wick, all that. And of course it was responded with, well, you're not burning it properly. Okay, I am. Would you like a replacement? Yes, please. We can send that same candle to you. N no, like clearly I don't like the scent when you burn it either. Not only was the wick an issue, but the scent smelled horrible when you burned it. I said, can I switch it for something else? And they go, absolutely. We have gardenia that we'll send you. So you're going to substitute movie night, which is caramel popcorn with gardenia. And I was like, could I please choose the fragrance? And they were like, sure, what would you like? Anything in stock. And I said, okay. And they had a new Blossoms candle, which sounded like a sweet, fruity floral. So I requested that. She responded, due to technical difficulties, that one is out of stock. Okay. So I chose, I'm really into saffron candles or in perfume, the note saffron. And there was one cypress, sailing in cypress or something like that. And it was sea salt and saffron. I'm like, whatever, I'll do that one. So they did send it to me as a replacement. I did get it. I have not burned it yet, but I do have the Ata Taha Affair candle. Um, I ordered that with this originally. I lit it. I'm on my second burn. The burn is better. But the smell is, again, it has this really weird smell when you light it. So it has to be either the base of the wax or the wicks. I don't know what it is, but I am not impressed with Glass House fragrances. Uh, I did a lot of research online and they did say that they switched their formula recently. Well, I don't know if it's to save money or what, but I think they need to go back to the old formula. Even though I never even tried it, but from what I've been reading not the best. So not a fan of glass house fragrances. We see, I have a few. I just want to burn them and see what I think. Not a fan. Next, Valkyria from Overrose. Now this is a luxury candle. Look at this soot, you guys. This, no matter how many times I lit it, it would get super black and sooty. And I ended up burning this in a room that had an air purifier. So that way, if it, like the soot would just suck up in the air purifier, hopefully it didn't end up on my walls. But anyway, I love this scent. I got suckered into buying this brand because they launched a croissant candle and it was purple. It was okay, it was fine, definitely not worth the money. I don't really love the brand. They're definitely like a knockoff by Rado candle and I much would rather pay for original by Rado than like, a knockoff brand. So I'm not really a fan. The scent was nice. It was like a sweet fig, but overall not really impressed. I am going to reuse. I'm going to peel this sticker off. Actually, I think the sticker can come off like literally now. No, it has residue. I'll figure it out. Probably like rubbing alcohol, but yeah, not a fan of the candle, the burn or the scent really. It was okay. I wouldn't really repurchase that. One Yankee, and this is pretty disappointing too. This is Cucumber Mint Cooler. I had such good luck with Art in the Park. This one, about halfway, puny wicks. Such puny wicks. I could barely, barely get this one to pull out. 
And because of the puny wicks, I lost all scent and throw. I even put this in my bathroom. The scent's light to begin with, but I put it in my bathroom and I literally could smell nothing, you guys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So really disappointing. On there, I loved these. Bath and Body Works Sugared Lemonade and Blueberry Sugar from the Black Friday like Mix It line. I finished two. The burns were abysmal as always, but they smelled really good. I don't get any blueberry, and I, which is good because I'm not a big fan of the blueberry sugar scent from them anyway. It kind of smells artificial to me. However, when you had these burning, it smelled like when you go to like an amusement park or a fair and they make that lemonade, like the homemade lemonade with water, sugar, and they just squeeze fresh lemon in it. That's what this smelled like. I did burn both in my living room to get that good throw. And it did throw consistently from top to bottom. The flames did get really low, but it did throw. And it was a really nice scent. I wouldn't repurchase it. I'm not really repurchasing Bath & Body Works candles right now, but I did really enjoy the performance scent wise on that. It was really strong, like a fresh lemonade. All right, now Kringle. You guys know I'm a Kringle candle ambassador, but that does not change how I feel about honesty when it comes to fragrance. And two of the three, I did not like. So see, the first one, Melanie, Connor, Katie. So many people love this scent. I just don't. Sicilian orange. Now listen, this is in the three wick soy blend. You see there's no more wicks because I put it on the candle lamp, the candle crock because the burn just wasn't great, which we already know. Kringles fixed it. I love oranges. I love citrus. I was, like I said, melting sun-kissed citrus in here. I'm burning tangerine vanilla from Bath from Yankee right here. This scent smells like cat urine to me. I, that's all I can say. It smells like citrus, but it smells like, like you sprayed a citrus cleaner on cat pee. I don't know. And now I know you're going to be like, but why did you do that? I ordered another one. So I ordered the Easter candles and I ordered one of the large two wick 100% soy in the Sicilian orange. Maybe it's the 100% soy is going to be better than the soy blend. I don't know. Open area, different season. I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to give it a second attempt because I don't think I gave it enough chance in the soy blend so i will try it again so see i don't love everything and i'm honest just like i love the packaging the scent just is not it's just not it for me succulents okay i love succulents i burned this entire candle from top to bottom in my office where all my scentsy succulent warmers are look at that burn all the way down, flawless every single time. It's like leather and patchouli. It's so bizarre. When I first saw this, without reading the notes, I was like, this is going to be bright and green and fresh. It's not. It's like a leathery, which I love leather, but patchouli, smoky vibe. And maybe in the fall this would be great, but like I thought for this time of year it would be appropriate, but I walked in the room and it kept smelling like very, very masculine and very heavy. Like it just made the air smell really, really heavy. So not a fan. I would not repurchase succulents. But this guy, Poison Apple from the Halloween line. Okay, again, it's hard to see these because it's black wax. They did change it to white last year. This is the best apple scent I've ever had in my entire life. And it was so strong. I burned it here, filled up the place. I burned it in my bedroom, knocked my socks off. Everywhere I burned this poison apple candle, it was intense, strong. Don't let the name poison apple freak you out. It's a fresh, crisp Granny Smith apple to me. It's a tart green apple, even though it's red here on the package. To me, it smells like a really bright green apple. I love it. 
100%, 10 out of 10, best candle I burned all week. I hope this comes back this year or this, this exact apple scent is brought in the regular line. Mick, if you're watching this, Poison Apple was phenomenal. I would love to see this like in the regular line for fall, maybe caught like basket full of apples and have like a basket with all these fresh apples on it. I don't know, either way, I love the scent. We'll repurchase it. It's one of my favorites. I actually think I have another backup of it, which I'm not gonna burn until I know this is coming back. So love Poison Apple, will repurchase. Really love that. All right, guys, finished all of that. Now let's get into uh, the disappointing things of the week, the Vendor Wax. As you know, I've stated many times lately, Vendor Wax just is not doing it for me. And I've either de-stashed most of my collection or like this, been melting through it. The performance just is not there for me. I love my Scentsy. I get great performance from Scentsy. I love the community. I love my candles. And yeah, I'm just, it's just not worth it to me to spend the money, especially it's just getting more and more expensive. And to me, I see people on YouTube being like, I don't mind if it only gives me four hours because I'm ready to change it out by then anyway. Well, for $13 for four hours, no, I want it to last a little bit longer than four hours. When my Scentsy, if I use two bars, I can get through three days, two bars, $12, three days. Like it's so much more affordable in the long run than Vendor Wax is. So I'm gonna start with my bags. I'm gonna just read through them really quickly because we're already at 30 minutes and I will only stop if something stood out to me. So from the bathing garden, I have Serendipity Cream Pie. Dessa's Coastal Kale. I actually really like this. Uplifting ocean and cool fresh greens where the salt water meets the dunes. This lasted almost a whole day. It was one of her snack bars. I enjoyed that. It was like a really fresh, like peppery green scent. I finished two chunks from L3 Waxy Wonders. Booberry Zucchini Bread Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I finished a Matrix Melt from L3 in Fresh Cut Roses and Vanilla -ry. I finished a Bitty Betty in Buttermilk Pie. I finished a Matrix Melt in Cucumber Salty Sea Air. I finished a two pack of Bunts in Bergamot, Driftwood, Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. From K's Mount Mango Sorbet, Malibu Rum Cupcakes, and Orange Chiffon Cake. L3 Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange. This whole loaf, like, I literally did this in my kitchen in hot plate warmers and it lasted maybe two hours and then I couldn't smell it anymore. I, I just don't understand. Pink Sugar Pie Crust Warm Vanilla Sugar. Satsuma. Bicentennial Man. Country Berry Hot Cakes Flapjacks and Brown Sugar. I'm not even naming this one. This is uh, Salty Sear, Black Sea, and Pink Sugar, a custom I made from K's, but I hate the name. This one, Serendipity, Strawberry Pound Cake, Boom Boom. Black Opium from K's. Pirate Voyage from Dessa's. Another Fresh Cut Roses Vanilla -ry from L3. I hated this. Destination Wax Mango Sticky Rice. Oh, this was bad. This was like... It was just like, it made the air smell thick. It was just really odd. Pineapple Frozen Whip from Dessa's. Cantaloupe Salty Sierra from L3. Blue Sugar Today is October from L3. Another Bicentennial Man. Another Pink Sugar Pie Crust Warm Vanilla Sugar. There's two of each because I just wanted to finish them up. Palo Santo from K's. Cider Lane Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Palo Santo from K's. Key Lime Pie, Raspberry, and Zucchini Bread from K's. Pumpkin Cream Puffs from Southbound. And then Clams. I have a big clam from the Bathing Garden in a Brown Sugar Rose. Brown Sugar Cream Rose Bouquet. This was actually nice. It was like reminding me of Rose Jam from Lush, a little bit sweeter. London Fog from Teddy B's. I'm so happy I sold all that. Charming from Super Tarts, which is grapefruit sugar cookies. Mac Apple Ocean Palo Santo from Super Tarts. 
And the only scent from Vendor Wax that performed for an entire day, like from the moment I woke up and put it in the warmer till the moment I went to bed, and I even turned it on the next day and I got a little bit out of it the next day, is from the Melted Mousse out to dry. This is discontinued. Laundry hung out to dry with a hint of spring florals. I love this. This smells like you walked outside the laundry and it's pumping out this beautiful scent of like lint mixed with your laundry detergent or your softener. It's fabulous. I love it. But this oil has been discontinued. She's tried duping it to no avail. So it's done. I have a couple more scent shots that I'm hanging on to, but the vendor wax, I'm just cleaning up. It's just not it for me, you guys. I've said it before. It just doesn't perform for me, and it only lasts about a day, and I 100% apologize if I got you guys hooked on the vendor wax, and you felt the same disappointment that I did, and I was just bought into the hype, and I saw right through. I took off the rose-colored glasses, and I saw through the vendor wax world, and yeah. So sticking with my Scentsy and my candles, and perfume on this channel. So definitely keep watching if you enjoy that content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much and be kind. Bye guys.